Today we begin a brand new series called The Dynamic of Transformational Leadership. In this series, we're going to deal with one leadership dynamic that I want you to look at very carefully. Here it is. Transformational leadership seeks to create a positive change in those who follow. And that is so true. Because if you're a transformational leadership, you want your leadership to change along with you. As you change, they will change. And so as we look at this particular subject, we want to look at it from a perspective of the Apostle Paul when he talks in uh, Romans 12, 1 and 2. He says, I appeal to you, therefore, brothers, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your spiritual worship. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, and that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good, acceptable, and perfect. You see, leadership might be the most confused term that we use in the body of Christ. We all assume a certain picture of a leader when we hear the word leadership. Normally we think of an individual that is uh, strong, no compromising, uh, individual type of person who's not afraid of anybody or anything but God himself. That leader is charging forward with a tribe of crazed followers. And that leader has a charisma and a personality that makes even the casual contact inspirational. That leader has a strong belief in personal leadership skills. They are always courageous and sometimes reckless. Before we go too far, understand that the above mentioned quality is both positive and important to the kingdom of God. But the subject here is not leadership. The subject is developing transformational leaders. How is it different from other approaches to leadership? A natural leader draws people in and sends people out. A natural leader attracts and gathers other leaders instead of self-promoting and transformational leaders promote the mission of the church. Does a transformational church leader want more people to attend the local church? Absolutely. Leaders want more people because they want to send more people back into the community and into the world. The focus of passion for a transformational church leader is for lost people as well as bigger churches. So how does the transition in leadership thinking take place? The old model of leadership was to hoard and retain control. Transformational leaders seek to empower and multiply. They think in terms of movements of God versus seasons of high attendance. Patience is critical. Courage to release and trust God is indispensable. To get moving in the right direction, four mindset shifts are needed. The first is... Not one, but many. And what we'll do today is we'll just cover this first one and we'll cover the others next time. The first mindset shift toward transformational leaders is from one leader to many leaders. You see, in the church today, we have the super pastor. That is, the pastor is expected to do everything. After all, that's what we pay him to do. And he must model uh, what it means to be a super pastor. One reason churches fail in their mission is because of the promise suggested about the super pastor. View of pastoral leadership. Our pastoral super pastor, in many cases, is trained in exclusive places to, to gain expertise in business, family therapy, communication, marketing, leadership, and theology. Many pastors are taught how to lead local teams to grow their churches. A congregation has in, incredibly high expectations of their super pastor. The super pastor returns the favor by having incredibly high expectations of the congregation. But when the dream is not accomplished, finger pointing begins. Both the pastor and members contribute to the finger pointing. Angry pastors complain about the terrible people in their congregation. The pastor demands unilateral command and control. And then the church demands a high level of satisfaction, financial stability, and numerical success, and no one gets what they want. Transformational churches have strong leaders. The leaders understand the importance of every man and every woman. Super pastors for comic books, not for the body of Christ. I fear church leadership has devolved into a counterproductive bishop-driven system. 
The result is a, is a disengaged, under-challenged, and underutilized missionary workforce. Next week, we will look at the second mindset shift needed in today's transformational leaders. And that mindset shift is not me, but we. So I'll see you next time.